Hello, my name is Annie and I am a volunteer docent at the California Academy of Sciences. And today I want to share with you all why the blue morpho butterfly looks blue to us. But first, I would like us all to please close our eyes for a minute and pretend like we are holding something shiny in our hands. Maybe it's a shiny bird feather or maybe we found a shiny seashell. Whatever you have in your hand, turn it around a little bit. And do you notice that when the light hits your object and reflects back to your eyes, you can see different colors? Maybe a couple? Well, we can all open up our eyes now and I will share with you the blue morpho butterfly from the Academy of Sciences. And you might say, Annie, that butterfly doesn't look blue. Well, if I turn it around, <gasps> There's the blue side of the blue morpho butterfly. And when I turn it around in the light, can you see how there are different shades of blue? I see a few. Well, this is called iridescence. Can you say that with me, please? Iridescence. And what we see with our eyes are actually the structural colors caused by when the light hits off the butterfly wing scales back to our eyes which means that the butterfly isn't actually blue. It's just the color that we see when the light hits off the butterfly wings back to our eyes. And I know that's kind of hard to believe, but if I hold the light to the back of the butterfly, what do you see? It's the other side of the butterfly, right? The brown side? Pretty cool, huh? Well, the next time you are at the Academy of Sciences and go into the rainforest, keep an eye out for the blue morpho butterfly. And don't forget our new word of the day, iridescence. Goodbye.